Hey guys, in the this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 related to its latest update or I would say latest photo update with version 061 which was just released on yesterday. So in this particular video we will see how to download and install it manually from an official Asus server. So let's proceed for with that. Before that let me confirm you that at present we are on the version 060 and we will be going to update to 061 and we, with the previous version the security patch was of, of the 5th December 2019 and with the latest version it will be of 5th February 2019. So let me close this and now navigate to Chrome. So I have <clears throat> already uh, created or I would say drafted a dedicated article for the same so that you can go over afterward and I'll be providing you that uh, URL for the same in the description below. So basically nothing major has been mentioned in here. So there are a few instructions like build number with this. Then it is basically a full update with the of 1.52 GB approximately. So this is not a, a Delta package or any other thing. This is a full firmware update. Apart from this, there is an important note only for the Android users. I would say Android Oreo users. So anyone who is at this moment with the Android Oreo version and they, if they want to directly jump to this particular version so for, for them they should be at least on version 340 or more um, so afterward they will be able to follow the same steps and they will be able to update their phone now let's discuss few things related to change log upgraded to fe february 2020 security patch then updated the apn list that is access point names and so on apart from this fixed garbage string of do not disturb suggestion this was for the russian language then fixed time zone zone that cannot be changed automatically this issue is also been uh, resolved. Then they have also fixed the problem that is galleries running notification pop-up. So sometime on our status bar, we were able to view one scare, which was uh, whenever we will be uh, pop uh, like tapping on it, it was saying galleries running. So this was a bug that has been resolved now. Now how to update it? You just have to tap on this particular URL. Afterward, it will ask you for storage if you haven't provided. Afterward, it will be downloading this particular file. So to cut down this particular time, I have already uh, downloaded this file so let's move to the file manager afterward it will be downloaded to your download folder uh, so let me open my file manager so you can use any file manager i'm just using asus file manager manager so inside that i'm just going to internal storage inside internal storage download folder so download folder is already having that particular file with the 061 so you just have to select it and afterward either copy to or move to the internal storage at the root folder so for that part i have already done that part let me show you as well so that particular file is already residing in the internal storage so after this you just have to uh, restart your phone but before that let me discuss one one or two more things so just to confirm so at this moment our drm info is showing l3 basically uh, uh, before this i have upgraded my phone to versions 407 which is on android 10 beta version so because of that that particular security level has been dragged from l1 to l3 so hopefully in this particular video uh, or in the after this particular update we will be able to know whether it is still l3 or they have changed to l1 with this particular update apart to this camera to api is still in legacy we'll also see after updating this uh, phone with this particular latest update whether this will make any change to camera to api or not because in version 407 they have provided a camera to api out of the box so apart from this there is no other such thing which needs to be discussed so we are good to go with the restart system so i'm just going to restart my phone as soon as my phone will be restarted it will prompt me with the uh, message that uh, uh, <clears throat> update file has been detected or system update file has been detected so let's wait till that time the phone will be rebooted to the normal mode or i would say login screen so our phone has been restarted and you can see that particular prompt that update launcher system update file detected so let me unlock my phone afterward just tap on this particular file and it will show you the package name with the version 065 just click on ok and it will now prepare the update and in the background and afterward it will do some integrity check and directly uh, reboot our phone for the full installation part so phone has just been restarted after you know, doing its background activity in terms of preparing the update or integrity check and so on now within next three to five seconds our phone will be moved to the installation wizard where it will say that okay so installing update or installing system update so it will take nearly about two to three minutes so let's just wait and have some patience and afterward we'll discuss the other parts Apart to this, I just want to add one more thing. I think this will be surely be a last update for the Pi version before 
uh, Asus will be rolling out their stable version of Android 10. Earlier it was scheduled to be released in the mid of March, but now we are almost in the mid of March. So I am anticipating maybe by the end of March or maybe uh, the mid of April will surely be getting a stable version. Again, this is just a guess. This is not an official information or whatsoever I am reading on the official Asus Gen Top uh, forums and so on. So finally the installation has been completed and our phone has been rebooted. Now it will take hardly a minute to complete everything and uh, directly boot into the home screen or I would say login screen. So finally the phone has been restarted or uh, rebooted to the login screen or home screen and on our screen you will be able to view finishing system update. So within next two to three seconds it will prompt like system update, system update successfully. <clears throat> so let's jump to the settings section and verify each and every bit. So for that I'll be going to about section then Android 9 version. So finally we have been upgraded to the latest version that is 061 with the security patch of 5th February 2020. Now let's verify a few things which we have which we were discussing before updating our phone. Now let's see whether camera to API. It's again disgusting that they haven't updated camera to API. It is still the legacy. Apart to this let's verify DRM info because I am anticipating that that should be changed to L1 with this particular update but let's verify. No. Again it has been L3. Now I think again there is some mismatch between this particular 061 with respect to 407. Hopefully Asus will resolve this issue in the coming version as well. So basically this was all from our side that is how to download and install the latest uh, available update that is with version 061 manually on your beloved handset Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. Hope you like this video. If you really like this video, kindly share this with your friends and family. And apart from this, please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future. Finally, it's the time to sign off now. Bye for now. Thanks.